Hey, Flurbert. Sanne here. So, um, my apologies for this very late video. Um, the free for the month for the month August is uh, are out now, and um, well, they've been out for two days now, and I was like, mm, I don't know, I, I maybe I shouldn't like cover this this stuff anymore on this channel. Um, but then I got a comment, and I was like, okay. If someone asks for it, I will definitely do it. So here I am, recording a video for you guys uh, about the free for the month stuff. I downloaded it all and, uh, well, these are the free for the month packs. It's the advanced female customization pack, uh, the eight elements, the insane level editor, uh, in-game level editor, I'm sorry, and the modular sci-fi office and the root motion guide. And the root motion guide is a plugin, I think. Um, and it helps you to, uh, for as far as I, I understand, it helps you to work with the Mixamo uh, stuff. Um, because they all have like root motion uh, animations. And, well, it seems pretty pretty cool um and maybe i will i will figure out how how, how this works but may maybe i don't maybe i won't anyway um so there's this um i can just close this one this one should be the last one to cover uh, the in-game level editor version 4 terrain stage you can um, like create terrain create geometry um at foliage, yes, I'm not afraid of this word, foliage, and uh, the activity stage, and well, there's like a lot of stuff, a lot of good stuff, and uh, basically this is for building, building levels, uh, pretty cool. The root motion, I talked about that, the modular sci-fi office, this is a very nice uh, sci-fi office, um, we will jump in in just a sec. And then there's the advanced female customization, where you can make a female with, um, yeah, well, all kinds of females, like ninja assassin females, or villager medieval females, and you can yeah, customize it. Uh, the proportion uh, of like the eyes and the nose, those don't change very much. But, um, yeah, it comes with a lot of clothing options, and I think it's really cool. Maybe, maybe I will we'll, we'll add this in the game. And then there's, like, the eight elements. Uh, it's uh, basically two packs of four elements packed together, and together they make eight elements. Uh, the elements are uh, ice, dark, light, and lightning. That's pretty cool. And then there's water, wind, earth, and fire. So, uh, and then there's this, the uh, free forever. Um, this was added uh, to the list. And it's pretty neat because it's a complete landscape with trees and grass and all kinds of foliage, rocks, uh, and it's an auto landscape, so that's that's pretty pretty neat because uh, well, auto landscapes are kind of expensive and they make your workflow pretty pretty nice. So th that's that. Let's jump right into uh, this one and select this viewport play. And this starts out with a elevator scene. Oh, I hate it when this, yeah, go away. Um, and it's for Tsar Genomics. Genomics, what's genomics? I have no idea. Anyway, hit the button, go somewhere, I don't know. Ah, we're here. We exit the elevator and we come in some waiting lobby part. There are some doors here. Can I open these doors? No, they do glow, but nothing is happening. Okay, weird. Anyway, 
And then there's like this meeting room. And this is... This is looking... This makes me think about this, this scene from... Um, what's his name again? Um, the, the, the psycho killer dude who kills everyone with a pencil. Um... I I um the uh, with Keanu Reeves. I forgot about. Do you know it? Keanu Reeves with with the guns and the, the no. Anyway, um. Yeah, so this is the security room, obviously. So you have uh. A meeting room with a security room. Like really? What what kind of meetings do you have here? This is pretty Well Maybe Genomics is not a like a nice thing to do. Anyway, what's this? Oh so there's also like server rooms here. Yeah, I, I oh nice shiny This is really, really cool stuff. You can like open. How do they work? This is really neat. Nice. And let's close this up. And there's first aid kit on the wall. Very good. Safety above all. And there's another rating room. And I know upstairs is the CEO room, I think. This is a kind of weird... I, I wouldn't feel comfortable if I have to sit here to talk with the CEO of some weird company. The big boss. Nope. Can I turn on the lights? Oh yeah, I can. And I can open the drawer. Nice. So that's that. I think I think that's it for like this entire level. Yeah, that's all there is to it. So behind this there's nothing and behind this there's also nothing and Okay, so the, this is a room but this is nothing again. Okay. Well, cool. It's a nice showcase. It looks all pretty cool and I like it. Good value for uh, your money. <laughs> Good value for your money, guys. For your free stuff. Really nice. Um, maps. Let's go to the level editor thing. And I guess I just have to play this to be able to do anything with it. Oh. Um, well, we do have a pretty nice infinite ocean. But how does this work? World settings. We don't have a game mode. So that's... We don't have a game mode, people. Hmm. Blueprint. I, I, I haven't checked this one out yet. And I have no idea if it works or even how it works or... So there's blueprints, data blueprints, blueprints, activity, camera, CH player, uh, save loads, config, environment. I have no idea how this stuff works. I should find some game mode, base game mode, functional first person uh pp editor game mode maybe this maybe this will work maybe this ah there you go generate and now i can oh now i can basically do minecraft within okay can i turn or Hmm. So 
if I can just look at it from this angle, then I will not be using this because who wants to print Minecraft in two and a half D? <sighs> okay. Anyway, how do I? I can't even. Oh wait, time of day. Okay. What? Hmm. Oh, okay. So scrolling is something. Ah, oh, Q is rotating. Okay, E is rotating, and then I can take this. And I can put this here, but I still haven't figured. Oh, this is also rotating. How to control help panel, left click, spawn up, delete object, movement, wheel, QA, hold shift with fly, not shift. All oh, right, just hold shift. Okay. Um I I think this isn't that bad. I think this could be fun like I have no idea what 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 I should make but and I got to get used to like the controls but Geometry floor. Yeah, I want to add some floor. There you go. Like there. There. Looking good. Angle. And wait. Um, shift. Oh yeah. See, there's C fighting going on really nice i hate it anyway the then we have the um, elements don't save this gosh i'm so annoyed that i can't that i can't find this name of this this killer guy keanu reeves if you know what i'm talking about please please put it down in the comments because uh, I, uh, <laughs> I don't I don't know anymore. Anyway, let's play this. Um, ah, we don't have a real character. So this is water attack. Yay, it's throwing splashes of water at a green blob with eyes. This guy looks pretty, pretty happy. Even though he's bombarded with water. And the water defense. Hmm, looks decent. I think if you kind of make like some kind of um, wizard game, that this would be a very nice feature. This looks pretty cool. This this actually looks really cool. And so this is Earth Attack and Earth Protect. Oh, like that. Oh, that's really nice. I love that. Oh, let's get here. Earth Defense. Wait. Earth defense. Oh, alternatives. Also nice. And the attack, also very nice. What else? We got wind attack. Yeah. And there's wind defense, of course. Pretty cool. And there's fire attack. I think this, this, this is a really nice thing um, and there's fire defense and that's that's it that's that's actually all and then there's four more elements uh, yeah and so there's ice ice attack Uh, 
uh, this makes me think about uh, the ice monsters in uh, in uh, Borderlands 2. The monsters that throw ice rocks at you. And this would be nice to have ice defense. Yes. <laughs> and lightning. Don't get struck by lightning unless you're a lightning wizard. Looks cool. Can be useful. Dark attack. I like this. I mean, this is this is real darkness. I don't know how this will work in like a dark environment though. And there's light attack, of course. I mean, you could make a pretty cool game about light against dark fighter or something. I don't know, man. It's it's all up to you. Uh, I kind of like the spec. Um, looks good, but it's it's not like a particular nice thing for me. Not like I will uh, play around with this for real. Anyway, there's um, the open world test map, test map level two. Open world. Let's open the open world level and see what's uh, what's in here. So this does take uh, quite some time to load up, even on my monster laptop. But it's done loading, and I think I can use like the game modes from the first person I think this will work just fine yeah this is fun from the office scene and this is a nice uh, way to walk around because I I like to walk around in these kinds of scenes because it really gives you a feeling for the scene as it is and Nice atmosphere, nice atmospheric fog. Nice, they look really low poly trees. But I guess it's it's fine. I've been playing quite some Minecraft uh, like lately and um, when I see like trees like this, uh, when you play Minecraft with like insane shaders, the trees basically also look like this so yeah we come to a point where you start to wonder maybe I should do Minecraft development or something <laughs> anyway um, nah I'm just kidding man this this is great I think this is great stuff to to have um, even if you can't afford brushify then yeah definitely grab this because it's a nice landscape. It's nice foliage. And let's check out like the sculpting. Uh, and I also wonder do they have like oh shaders compiling? Yeah, sure, why not? We could compile some more shaders. Landscape, landscape. Mm hmm And then there's water, that's like a very basic water thing. Uh, okay, cool. So let's uh, sculpt. When the shaders are done compiling, let's do some sculpting. Radius, not too big. Strength, not too strong. And use clay brush because uh, that gives a nicer effect. Did you know that? Clay brush? It's more like it. if you like to raise something um, and you want to raise everything by the same amount you lose. You, you don't use clay brush and it will all rise the same amount. And if you use uh, the clay brush enabled, stuff will act more like a piece of, of clay. I guess. Anyway, uh, man, shaders compiling takes long. Let's just do some, like, screw the system. Let's do some shit. Oh, this looks 
interesting. So it's an auto material. Um, so that means like when you get like certain amount of angle, it should automatically change from grass to rock. And it's, um, hmm. You want me to be honest? It's not doing a very good job. Well, it does like on this side, but when well, I guess I, I don't know, uh, maybe it's just a matter of preference. And these are static meshes, right? Oh, this is, is this like all foliage? Yes, it is. So they use rocks as foliage as well. Oh, that's nice. And are there procedural spawners? Post process. Yeah, there there is a procedural spawner. That's very cool. I really love proceduralism, procedural spawners. Um, oh, this is really cool. Yeah. So you have like all these trees and rocks, and you can just spawn them in, and and it will work. So maybe maybe if you guys would love to see it, I can uh, do uh, a speed run on making like an open world environment using these uh, landscape shaders and see what I can like come up with in the shortest amount of time. Should be fun. Um, so that's this for this project. Don't save. And then there's this project, and I already tested it, but I will like let let's do a new one. Uh, let's full screen. Okay, yeah, screw you. I'm not going to package this. Um, create. Oh right, I must write a name. Where do I write a name? Oh. There you go, for Flurbert's sake. Um, create, I guess. Okay, left mouse button is to select. Right, double left mouse button is customize. Left mouse button up, down, rotate camera. Left, right, rotate camera. Use UI windows, right mouse button. Um, middle mouse button drag is pen camera, that's really Nice, okay. And the mouse wheel zoom in and hide all, okay. So this is our pretty good looking lady, I say. Look at that. And we can, uh, we can dress her up like, ah, there you go. Let's make her look more like me. So that's taller and a, bit, a little bit more fat and a bigger head and I mean, okay like I got like slightly broad shoulders and kind of long arms yeah r for real um, belly size Damn, like, if you get, like, as fat as possible, you will look like this. <laughs> girl, girl, I, <laughs> really, this is the fattest I, I'm sad. Breast size. Okay. Nice. Butt size. Whoop, whoop. Oh, that's, that's really cool. Lower leg. Okay, and food size, yeah, I will put this like all the way, that's kind of how, how big my feet are, and no, my, my ass is not that, that, that good, <laughs> God damn it. Um, so let's choose a nice dress, that's, that's much better, and can I, can we now, okay, go back, and custom, 
Custom size, skin color. Oh, uh, we can make her. Gr yes, definitely. Green. Like that. Roughness. Yeah, it should be a little bit more rough. Details. Okay, subsurf scatter. Like turn it up or down. Does it really matter? I don't know. Specular. So don't make it too specular. Dirt opacity. Oh now now it's a dirty curl. Okay. That's that's cool. Um Okay, so now I can change the fabric, fabric type, like this, oh, that's cool, and um, fabric skill, okay, wow, this is quite some fabric opacity, but what, yeah, right, fabric roughness, Makes all sense. And metallic. You can make this a metallic dress. That's cool. Maybe add some patterns. Oh. This is really... No, that's ugly. I don't like dog feet. That's really ridiculous. And I want this to be... Oh, red hearts. Yes. And the fabric should be... Well, actually, it should be black, or really, really dark blue, really dark red, I don't know, maybe just black. Anyway, and then there's the transparency. Um. Oh, oh, uh... <clears throat> no, don't do the. <laughs> oh, I I don't think I can show this on YouTube. Well, we'll we'll we'll, we'll find out if we get like uh, suits for this. Anyway, yeah, you can um, give her a nice uh, ninja hat. You can give her uh, gloves and sleeves, nice and a nice shirt. So she won't get cold. Um, wait, this is not so good. Can we like remove this and then... Oh, this is really ugly. Okay, well then... Let's do it like this. So I made a green ninja chick and she looks pretty cool. I love how the hat has a bit of latency really cool yeah I like it I like it I like it a lot uh, it will give you like a lot of um, nice looking uh oh wait there's a lot of screenshots there you go nice and the, the other one like this one Exactly the same picture, isn't it? Oh no, there's a slight difference. Anyway, you can create a lot of uh, nice characters, I guess. And they also have um, tutorials on how to uh, how to do stuff with with this uh, with this character because you have to do stuff in order to get it walking and stuff to. You know, connect it to either ALS or the mannequin in order to uh, to play around with it as a playable character. But, uh, yeah, well, it could be, like, really fun if you want to make a game, uh, especially a single-player game where you're a single female protagonist, and then first you have to create, like, uh, your own character to walk around within the game. There's also um, a mask, a face mask. Oh yes. 
We all love them and hate them at the same time, don't we? Can I... Um, can I get a close-up of her face? Is that even a thing? Okay, so I can get a close-up of her feet, of her tits, but not of her face. Nice! Uh, oh, and there's also presets. Oh no, there, there are no presets. Except for this one. Can I load this? Whoa, not so close, buddy. Yeah, this is... Um, this is the other uh, character that I created. I'm not very, very proud of this. Oh, and it also got like this nasty clipping. Why does that happen? And why, why is this happening? So many questions. Why is everything happening? Why do we even exist? I don't know. Go away. Um. So, so that's it for the. The new, the new free stuff for the month in the month August. If you liked this video, you know what to do. If you didn't like it, uh, please tell me why you didn't like it. And if there's anything you want else you want me to uh, to take a look at, um, please let me know. This is Flurbert out. Bye.